All right, let me show you how to build uh, one of the easiest, quickest 24 volt battery that you can build today. By the way, this project is sponsored by PCBWay. More on them later. All right, today we're gonna start by using these cells right here. The LEV60-F, I believe that's the name. That's a stupid name, I know. And we're gonna use eight of them to build a 24 volt battery using this uh, DIY PCB bus bar, right? So the first thing you have to do is you have to place them in the orientation that is on the board here, right? So po positive on the very end here, so we'll have to flip that one. And then negative, positive, negative, positive. This one is negative, we'll have to return it. And then positive this way. And then negative at the very end. There you go. All right, now that we have them um, range in the way we need to, this uh, connector right here is gonna be for your BMS, right? And it sticks out past the backside. You see that? So we're gonna have to use some little spacers. And these spacers, about two of them will do the trick. They look like these. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna position this in front of your battery there, and then this is the most positive, and then it's gonna go across like this. So you put one there, then it's gonna come down here and then go across. So you put one there, then it's gonna go up and go across, 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 and then across like that. All right, and then on the edges here, you have to take one of these ones and then cut it in half and then double up like that. And then we put it in here. Also on the uh, negative side, do the same. All right, so now what we do is we put these on here, right? So we start with this one over here, then this one, then this one, in this one the top four right here all right so now you have to be very careful to do the bottom ones because you can't put them in here because then you'll short it out and then it'll be a bad news right so you start with the one right this one and then now we go to the second position here connect those the next position here and again, pay attention. You can't put it in here because you'll short it out. And then the, the very last one here. Okay, so our spacers are there. Uh, these spacers are also bus bars and they will help carry the current that this bus bar is designed to do, right? These batteries can do quite a bit of power, but 180 amps continuous and about 600 amp bursts. So that we need all the help that we can get. So now that you have those like that, now what we need to do is just position this in here and push it in. And it's a bit of a tight fit here. There we go. Next, you just have to put your uh, M8 nuts in here and then tighten them all down and torque them and then we can test this battery all right and last we'll put our cables in here this is to charge it and discharge the battery so there you go that is a battery 24 volt battery 70 amp hour so this is like 1.6 kilowatt hour something like that so this connector here is to use or uh, connect a BMS, right? And so if you don't know what a BMS, you can Google that. It's basically just a the safety device that will manage your battery, will keep these cells from getting to overcharge, uh, overly discharge or uh, overly discharge, and then also will keep them in balance, right? And so that's what these connectors goes here for. It's labeled. And so you, all you have to do is get a, a BMS that's compatible for this and then put it in here and connect the balance leads here. And then usually you connect the, the uh, negative 
to, to go through the BMS and then this cable will go on the BMS, right? And so there's a bunch of them out there. We'll put some recommendations on the description of this video. Also, another thing you will need is some kind of compression. I have ordered some plates and we'll be offering those soon, but they're not ready yet. But it's basically some plates that go in here with just some all, all thread, sort of like this here, just, you know, and then um, you just compress them a bit so that the cells do not uh, expand right while you're using them. Also, if you want to check the balance of these batteries, there's this little device that we often use with our battery builds. This is a Battery Go VG-8S and this is the maximum amount of cells that this will do, eight cells, and this is eight cells in lithium ion phosphate. You will need some kind of cable, sort of like this one here. I'll put a link to this. And then what you do is you connect it in here. We'll let the brown be the, the negative, right? And so the brown is gonna be the negative, and then you come and check here, and this is the brown. And what you do is you put it in there, well, you have to tighten those little bolts in here, those little screws. So you have to loosen them first. Now you can put the connector and tighten. Okay, so now that it is connected, you see that? Now we get to see what the cells are doing in here. And look at that. Uh, lithium ion phosphate 8s so there's one cell that's higher than all the other ones right so they're all pretty much at three and it's just cell one is at 3.2 so what we do is you set this guy here to balance the cells and then it'll burn energy from that cell number one and it'll make it match all the other ones in there um, we we'll also put this battery to charge and then, uh, then you can use it after that, right? So this is a balancer right here that you could use uh, to keep these batteries in balance and you can check it. You can see the, the, uh, the status of the batteries. I like this little thing because it's got this little screen and it graphically and with the numbers it shows you the voltage of each cell. And then you can also tell it to balance the cell, you know, out of whatever, even if it's at the bottom like this or in the middle or at the top. So you can top balance, you can middle balance or bottom balance these batteries. This is a very, very cool little device that is very useful, right? Uh, so this does half of the job of the BMS. The BMS does all this, but the BMS usually don't have a screen. And so they don't show you what is happening. So you're always just kind of wondering if the BMS is doing anything and if your battery is doing okay or not, right? Some there's some higher end BMSs that will uh, show you this if you have like a mobile device and you can connect via Bluetooth or if you, there's some that you can get with the extra little screens like these, but definitely they're more costly than this little guy in here and they're harder to use and, and set up and stuff, right? So you could either go all the way or get something in the middle. There's everything, the BMSs come in all shapes and forms and um, I will put some in the description, including this one, so that you can decide which one you wanna use with your brand new 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Okay, let's talk about these projects. If you're not familiar with what I do here, every time I uh, design uh, one of these projects for a battery, a DIY battery thing, like, so I, it's an open source project. I share it on this video sponsored, PCB Way, right? It's a company in China that makes PCBs. You can submit your own designs and then they will print them out and they will manufacture them and then ship them to you wherever you are in the world. They sometimes could do it as quick as 24 hour turnaround, right? So they're pretty cool. So I share these files openly uh, in their platform. And then I share when this video, I put a link to that project and then you can go and download it. So I realize that there are different levels of DIY and some people want to go all the way down the rabbit hole, right? And just get all the things and buy all the things and try different things or modify some of the projects that I'm doing here. And the, the having them open source like this allows you to do that. You can go and download the files and then modify them and then re-upload them. And then you can make your custom thing that, you know, that works off of what I've already done, right? Uh, 
So also you could just download the files and the, the designs that I've uploaded just the way that they are, right? Because that's what I'm doing here. I'm testing, I'm, I'm ordering quite a bit of these things and testing and trial and erroring my way into something that works and then I finally share them, right? And so this is where this project's at. So uh, if you want to build this battery, uh, then you can just go to PCBWay here and then you can either download the file or you can order them uh, so that you can just receive your PCBs that way, right? So this is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and it's really the easiest way that I can help people that want to DIY. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of DIY, right? Like uh, you learning how to do a thing, building a thing, uh, empowers you to do it for less money and then you know more about the, the device or the project that you're doing or the thing that you're building. And so I think that's very beneficial all the way around. I think uh, it's, it's very useful and that's how I do everything. <laughs> that I do, I tend to not, you know, I mean, some things I do buy, like cars, I don't, actually, that's not true. I, I drive a DIY <laughs> electric car that I built. Uh, but there are some things where I draw the line, right? But uh, usually in my life, I like to explore DIY uh, avenues or, you know, things, the, the things that I can build myself. And so that's what I like to share these. And so if you want to support me, just go and build this battery, right? If you can help yourself by building this battery and you can help me by supporting the sponsor of the stuff. And uh, these projects, some of them are quite popular and a lot of people are building these. So sometimes the links that I put on these project pages and stuff, sometimes they run out, sometimes they sell out. Uh, and so, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you, when you're trying to build this thing, if, if you have travel, uh, finding some of the items and stuff. So there you go. This right here is currently one of the best and easiest 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery you can DIY. Uh, depending on which route you go, which BMS you get and stuff, it's like gonna cost you somewhere around 200 to 250 dollars a kilowatt hour, right? For this one right here, which you compare that to a plug and play battery that you can buy on Amazon, on AliExpress, and anywhere else, it's anywhere from like 300 to 500 dollars a kilowatt hour, right? So, this is not only fun and easy, this could save you money, right? So, I want to thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.